Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through forward chaining and backward chaining guys. Guys, this concept we have already discussed in the first unit that I told you the same equations which we are following from the past Ram is a good boy, all boys are good. So from that if we get the result, like Ram is a good boy. So this is nothing but forward. Backward means from the result you will be going to the initial state. That is nothing but backward. Okay, so let us go through the point so that you'll be having a clear idea of forward chaining. It is also known as a data driven infer inference technique, whereas backward chaining, it is also known as goal driven inference technique. Okay, forward chaining, it is a strategy of an example of system to answer what can happen. So it is saying about future, right? So if you use these two, you're going to get this like that it is saying. So this is this backward says that why this happened. So you are getting from the result, you are getting question, right? So that's the reason what why this happened like that. So this we can say that it is bottom top approach and it is top down approach. The opposites will be reversed guys. Sorry that approaches will be reversed. Don't worry about that. That's points are correct only. Okay. So it is it uses breadth first search. It uses depth first search. So here we will be traveling from data to goal and here we will be following goal to data. So this concept is again repeated in inference engine that is third unit and also in the unit one. So that is the reason why I have just written it here only. So that will be clear for you. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through general representation of knowledge. Thank you. Thanks for watching.